film has definitely taught us how to navigate in a world that may not be equipped for us, but you know, we learn how to take on these challenges and overcome adversity. Nothing will teach you how to love yourself like an HBCU. Our black is beautiful, but our black is excellent, even though the world may tell us not. That's why these institutions are important. Historically, black colleges and universities, also known as HBCUs, have a legacy of producing graduates who possess a heightened belief in human dignity and a desire to combat racial inequality. Most HBCUs were founded in the 1800s when educated black people were seen as a threat and weren't allowed to go to predominantly white institutions. From the four North Carolina a and students who staged the 1960 sit-in at a Greensboro Woolworth lunch counter, to the South Carolina State University students who put their lives on the line during the Orangeburg Massacre, HBCU students continuously transformed the politics of the day. Today, our nation is faced with real urgent threats to our national security by way of white supremacists and a lingering global pandemic that continues to unveil racial and economic disparities in our society. Fortunately, HBCU graduates are here to serve. I am incredibly honored by this responsibility, and I'm ready to get to work. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is a Howard University alumna. U.S. Senator-elect Raphael Warnock is a Morehouse man. That's right. Stacey Abrams is a proud Spelman woman. Because that is how we build tomorrow. And Yogananda Pittman, the black woman who was recently appointed acting U.S. Capitol Police Chief, is a graduate of Morgan State. Younger generations of HBCU students are prepared to take the baton and pick up where today's leaders leave off. When you think about everything that's going on in the world around us, we're in the middle of a recession, economic strife, we're in the middle of a pandemic. And we're having this quote unquote racial reckoning. How does Howard University prepare you to walk onto the pages of history? What HBCUs prepare and what Howard University prepares us for is for us to truly get a perspective that has nothing to do with what someone else other than Black individuals think of us. A lot of people, when they think of the HBCUs or Black colleges, they think that it's only one type of Black person or that Black people are a uh, you know, monolith when we are one of the most diverse schools that you'll see, you see people from the Caribbean, you see people from Africa, you see people from all different parts of the United States having that collective African diasporic experience. And although we have differences, we come together and we enjoy and embrace our blackness because that's what HBCUs were built to do. It is one of the few spaces in America that black people can truly be themselves without thinking how other people may perceive them, and they are literally able to blossom. When you look at someone like Stacey Abrams, talk to me about um, having someone who represents your institution so well, being the catalyst behind uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and also being the catalyst behind John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Absolutely, she is the epitome of what a Spelman woman stands for. Our motto is a choice to change the world. There may have been some downfalls or some adversity that Stacey Abrams had to face, but we obviously see that there was a bigger picture to it and she still used her purpose to help change the world and help be a catalyst to help the election and reshape our culture and our nation so we can have a better future. Talk about the history of Morehouse and the history of HBCUs from Dr. King to Julian Bond to David Satcher, Edwin Moses. How does that history play into how you carry yourself day in and day out? Walking those sacred grounds and just knowing that the folks who, you know, at, at some point were in your shoes as a student, seeing the things that they were able to go off and do, leading their industries, regardless of that was a nonviolent civil rights movement or that was changing the game for movies and film like Spike Lee. For me, it's just always wanting to uphold and, and advance that legacy. We're never going to duplicate anyone's legacy, but you have an open playing field to create your own. 